Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So, I'm a little tired right now. Um, I had my doctor visit, and the plan was afterwards. Well, the plan was for my sister to pick me up, or to come over. We were going to do a crochet lesson, and then she was going to take me to the appointment. And then after that, we were going to go to Walmart. I was going to get a bike, do some grocery shopping, whatnot, and come back, and then she was going to take me home. She forgot it was today and turned off her phone. So, um, I mean, worst case scenario, I'd just take the bus. But I did. my friend Chuck was able to drive me there. And so I went to the doctor visit. And then after it was over, I walked, excuse me, the mile or so to Walmart to do the stuff there. Walmart had exactly one adult bike for sale. And it was like 250 bucks. And, excuse me. I know that that's not a bad price for a bike. But... I know that I could get one for, you know, $100 cheaper than that if I wanted to buy an off-brand, which an off-brand's fine. I'm not looking for a high-performance bike. So, I didn't get a bike today, which means I had to ride the bus home, which I wasn't wanting to do because I didn't want to activate the bus pass because I figured if I'm going to use this bus pass once and then not use it again, I'm going to waste it. Then I found two dollars in my wallet that I forgot about. So I was like, yay, okay, I'm gonna use two bucks. Don't have to pay bus fare home. Or I pay bus fare home, but I don't have to activate my bus pass. No, they weren't even taking fare. I mean, they were, the buses were running, but they weren't even having people pay. So I don't know if that's just today or if that's just in general, they're not making anybody pay for to ride the bus right now. Um, which was nice because I was able to get home and I didn't have to activate my bus pass and I stole my two bucks. So, but anyway, before I get into all the, the fun stuff of what I did at Walmart and all that other stuff, um, doctor visit. Went today, um, he said I am a candidate for ECT and what they're going to sub submit now is to get pre or prior authorization from my insurance company. And then once that's done, provided that I can find someone to take me there and bring me home every, um, every time that it happens then um, I can start doing ECT. He says that he's, you know, he sees 85 to 95% success rate. You know, that's what I mean, that, or that's what 85, it's been 85 to 95% success rate over the course of like the last 70 years with ECT. So that's good. And it's good that I don't have to go into a hospital to do it because I don't really meet criteria to go into a hospital and I don't want to go to the hospital because I'd rather be at home where I can play with my yarn and my cats and watch YouTube and do all that other fun stuff and so I did manage to get all my sister after the appointment was over when I was walking to Walmart and she said that she could possibly take me back and forth to my appointments but um, I'll have to talk to her because with me. She's one of those that, you know, I'm not going to be able to miss just because she forgets and turns her phone off. So um, I may look to explore if there's any other options. This, the problem is, is I don't know anybody that um, doesn't have a job that could take me on a regular basis. So at least, I mean, and it really, you know, it's one of those things that you go three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and they say usually from... Average is six to eight sessions, but sometimes up to as many as 12. So six sessions would be two weeks. You know, eight would be two and a half weeks, basically, or it could be as much as four weeks. Um, I think my sister and I are supposed to go to her house in Wolf tomorrow to pack up some of her stuff and bring a load back of stuff that she wants to save. So... Um, I think we'll see how things go then. Um, I'll talk to her then, see how it goes. But and the doctor's suggestion was to see if home health, you know, there's like an option for home health, but I don't think my insurance is going to cover that for home health. And actually, the doctors, the doctor thought suggested home health. The doctor's office said that they didn't think I, that that would be a benefit under my insurance. So, um. So I kind of got good news and kind of got iffy news. And I did ask if they could do it like an Uber and they couldn't because um, sometimes when after you have 
ECT treatments, you're a little bit confused. Sometimes because of the anesthesia, sometimes because of the you know, the post-ictal phase after a seizure, and sometimes people are a little confused during that. And so they can't just release me to go be confused with you know nobody there to watch me. Although he says he doesn't think that I'm not high risk for having the confusion, mainly because I don't drink or do drugs or smoke weed or anything like that. So, but we've got an idea at least so we can hopefully start figuring something out. Um, now at, before I get into the fun stuff in Walmart, I started working on this thing today and I got more than halfway through and had to frog back all but the last row, be all, all except for the first row, because I somehow, I was doing good and all of a sudden got flipped again, I repeated a row or something I then tried to back up, but because you don't knit every row, you, it's hard to go back because you can't remember what, you know, did I knit this, you know, how many stitches did I do on this one and you know, whatnot, and so um, I ended up ripping it all out except for just the, the first row and then I've started again. And I might be off by one stitch, which I can deal with being off by one stitch. Being off by an entire row, I couldn't do because it just was going to jack up the pattern from there on out. So I'm trying again and I'm going to work on it again this evening and see if I can get some done on it. Um, there's, I've just got to make it past this green. There's something about this green that has got me stuck. But hopefully I'll be, be able to get through it. Now, when I was at Walmart, one of the things I wanted to get at Walmart was a three-prong extension cord. I had that on my list that I forgot to look at. So guess what I forgot to buy? So I still don't have an extension cord, which means I have to lift my washer, which, to be fair, the washer's not that heavy. But I have to lift it up onto the kitchen counter, so where like three legs are on the counter and one leg's hanging over the sink because that's just where it fits so that it can drain by gravity into the sink and where I can also plug it into the wall outlet there. And then I use a bucket to fill it up. Um, so I can do that, but I have to stand there the entire time I'm using it. Because one, I have to, it, it will drip water because it doesn't have like this watertight seal at the top. It's just a lid that just sits down. And so when it gets a little, I'm a little full and it gets a little rambunctious when it's agitating and so the water drips down so then you know I've got a little puddle that I'm trying you know I have to try and clean up plus it tends to shake itself to where it wants to fall off the counter and even when it's done with the washer part and I put it in the spinner I really have to stand by there when it's spinning because otherwise that sucker almost flew earlier I had like I just barely caught it before it hit the ground um, earlier when it was spinning and decided that it was going to go traveling. So hopefully my sister decides that she wants to go to um, Wolf tomorrow, then we can stop at one, the Shawnee Walmart and see about getting a bike and two, um, we can look into um I can get the an extension cord. Sorry, my brain rebooted in the middle of that sentence and I couldn't even hang on long enough to figure out where I was going. So anyway, since I am being all nice and spastic on that and I just briefly had this panic that I was talking and not recording. Um I'm really tired. So I picked up some yarn. First off, I got, look at this. This is the Bernat Maker Home Deck. It's black. I hadn't seen black. They only have... I wanted to make my little bags that I like. It generally takes just just more over one. So I try to get like three things so I can get two bags or at least two of them. They only had one. But I figure, okay, so I got one now and then I can... That'll motivate me to keep looking. I can find a, another one later. That'll sit there. And then now I bought some yarn, this actually this color pattern last week, earlier in the week. When my, uh, 
but it wasn't for me so when I was at Walmart and I saw it and it was still cheap I went ahead and got some because this is for me so we get look this color this is red heart so I mean it this this is like the typical red heart texture as far as um, the softness it's not super soft but it's also not super stiff it's just it's red heart quality but I got these three so that's enough that I could make a hat and a scarf or um, I could figure out something to do with it but I like it but it's you know, it's 100% acrylic and size 4 spastic cats it's 5 ounces or 141 grams so it's 236 yards in each of these so I'll have to find it'll probably have a home up there in that square so anyway my plan is for the rest of tonight is just to chill out um, either watch YouTube or Netflix or something um, find something to do and then work on I've got to make it past this green so um, but I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the evening and get my feet to recuperate because the balls of my feet hurt from actually wearing real shoes for once so anyway oh and, and I had quite a few of you guys send me your um, emails with your addresses on it and I appreciate it and um, I will definitely be sending out you know cards and, and whatnot my neighbors is making noises and um, but again, like I appreciate it, and even if the people that you know live out of the country, like I had someone that said they didn't want to give me the address from Ireland because the shipping would be prohibitive. And I was like, yeah, it still would be fun, you know, and I wouldn't mind. And you know, it's not like I would be writing you on a daily basis, but you know, sending a card through the mail is not that expensive, um, unless for some random reason it cost me. 20 bucks to send that greeting card to Ireland um, and it costs about that much for me to send a package to England so a small package but anyway I will see you guys again tomorrow oh, I gotta find my off button